holiday seasons are right ahead of us. Christmas Eve is only a couple of days. I'm sure a lot of you have already found their Christmas presents. But some of you will be working really hard. They have deadlines from their boss or maybe you're working for yourself and you have some last minute business deals to complete. And so you haven't found the time uh, to go Christmas shopping. Or maybe you are overwhelmed by the amount of fragrances uh, for women available. And yes, that's what we're going to talk about here today. Fragrances to gift your significant other, your wife, your girlfriend, your sister, your mother. These fragrances have a very, very high rate of success with the ladies in general. They are very well received and I myself adore to smell them on women as well. So uh, always take into consideration guys, this is still a subjective matter. This is my opinion, maybe not yours opinion, uh, but in general, like I said, they are very well received. I can't really see too many people dislike these scents. So they have a high rate of success. Things that are recurring in these five fragrances, they are sweet. They have, uh, all of them have actually the note of patchouli, which is an earthy, seductive note that gives it a little bit of seriousness, but at the same time makes it a little bit mysterious. Uh, five of the, four out of the five fragrances also have the note of vanilla, which is a sweet gourmandish note, uh, often used in oriental fragrances. But here today in this list, vanilla patchouli and also sweetness, sweetness. Sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's obvious sweetness from like caramel. Other times it's sweetness out of uh, floral notes like some white florals smell sweet as well uh, like jasmine or tuberose or even on the fruity side we have notes like pear and uh, mandarin orange in some of these fragrances which are juicy and sweet notes in uh, fragrances as well so the combination of these notes will get you mouth watering right now I'm sure so without further ado, let me start out with the first one. And this is a fragrance that has supposedly been reformulated. It has changed packaging and it has changed name. But I have to tell you that it is worth mentioning. They are very, very similar. This is my bottle. It's my wife's bottle. This is um, by, by Guerlain. The fragrance is called Mon Exclusif. And uh, today it's, I will put a picture here so you get a better view of that new bottle, but it's called Mont Guerlain right now. The juice itself is 95% similar, guys. This one is patchouli, vanilla, tonka, iris, lavender. It's aromatic, but it's also a little bit powdery. It's sweet without pushing it, right? It's elegant kind of sweetness it's something that will oh it will linger on her skin all day and uh, you will you will want to kiss your her you will want to hug her all day you will want to be you will want to be close to your significant other if if she's wearing this one guys that's my first recommendation Mont Guerlain by uh, Guerlain the next one is a new release by Jean-Paul Gaultier and the fragrance is called Scandal. So this is how the bottle looks like. I think it's quite tacky. I mean with the feet, with, with the legs up in the air. This is a sweet fragrance, but again, without pushing it. Instead of the obvious sweetness, it has a, uh, a honey note together with beeswax. Again, patchouli. This was the one that I'm talking about without the vanilla, but instead of that vanilla, it has the sweetness from the honey. But this one also has a fresh, zesty uh, blood orange note. And uh, guys, this, this combination in a, as a whole is just gorgeous to smell on her. So my first recommend, my second recommendation uh, by the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, this one is Scandal. 
Next is a fragrance by Lancôme, a fragrance that is uh, well known with the ladies. So if maybe she has this one in her collection, maybe she has worn it in the past. It's been on the market for a couple of years, uh, but it's still very relevant. It's an iconic fragrance that is still beautiful to smell. I, I can't get tired of this one actually. Um, but you know, be cautious if you know uh, if you have smelled it on her, maybe she wants something new. So take that and take another one out of this list in that, in that case. But if she hasn't worn this fragrance in the past, or if you just think, what the heck, I want her to smell this good. Yes, by all means, go with La Via Belle. Again, uh, vanilla, patchouli. Um, in this case, we have something different that makes it again very sweet but sweet in a very edible way this has the note of praliné a dark type of chocolate it's a very intoxicating perfume white florals again in here a very beautiful combination that is uh yeah a lot of women really call this one a masterpiece even and i can't really fault them it's just a gorgeous creation at number four, by the house of Yves Saint Laurent, we have Black Opium, a fragrance that has been on the market for a couple of years. So it won't be the newest out of the bunch, but I really, really like this one. This has a little mysteriousness about it. Vanilla and patchouli again, but this one has a little bit more a little bit more interesting notes like coffee and pear. I've seen a lot of fragrances that recently sport the note of pear. So it's, uh, it's something refreshing. It's something that if done right, can be very mouth watering. And yeah, I think the combination of this, of these notes really works in a way. The coffee itself is not um, not that detectable in my opinion. It blends well in the overall composition, but it's a very mouth-watering fragrance again, very seductive, and like I said, a little bit mysterious. Uh, something that I have to mention, maybe if you're looking for an alternative to this fragrance uh, by the house of Montal. Now this one is a little bit more expensive, but maybe you can find a good deal out there. It's still not the most expensive fragrance ever. By the house of Montal, this is Oud Maison. Now the difference is Oud Maison has a oud itself, and it also has a note of leather. Some of the fruity notes are also a little different, but uh, I'm guess I'm saying the overall vibe makes me think about black opium. They are definitely not substitutes. They are just uh, similar fragrances to check out. If you like black opium, definitely check this one out if you have the opportunity. So by Yves Saint Laurent, black opium and Oud Maison by Montal at number four on this list. And then last but not least, we have by Chanel. Coco Mademoiselle. <sighs> Guys, this fragrance, my mother has worn this one. My grandmother now has a bottle for herself. Each and every woman wearing this fragrance smells incredible. I mean, it makes each and every woman wearing this fragrance shine bright like a diamond. It's just incredibly elegant, gorgeous. It's uh, again a vanilla based fragrance with patchouli but it has a lot of white florals and also a very voluptuous sensual Turkish rose. <sighs> Guys, beautiful stuff, just beautiful. Mandarin orange, again, uh, it has the whole package and I like, like every other Chanel fragrance, this is really really classy, really elegant. So. Time, a timeless fragrance, like um, something that will stand the test of time and something that will still be very relevant in 30 years. I'm very sure about that. So I hope maybe you have a sparkle of hope to find that great uh, scent for your wife or girlfriend or mother or sister by watching this video. I hope you enjoyed 
this content if you have any questions about these fragrances shoot me a message i will gladly respond i hope you have some great holiday um, moments with your friends and family your loved ones i hope you enjoy uh, the upcoming days i hope you smell excellent as usual guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you gladly in the next one take care bye bye <laughs>